So I'm sitting in my car on my break, and I wasn't gonna say that at first though, but everything I just keep seeing on YouTube is just like, what is y'all talking about? What is y'all doing? Man, I don't understand why y'all keep coming for the women like this. Yeah, some women is this, thoughts, whatever you wanna call them, setties, gold diggers, prostitute, I mean, whatever you wanna call it, whatever woman that you dealing with in your life, whatever, all right, yeah, she, she, you know, maybe taking advantage of some situations, but I mean, so do, we all take advantage of situations. And so I'm not using that as to get women a pass, but I'm just saying, like, as far as I'm concerned, like, we still men. Like, all the stuff I see on YouTube is like how a single mother of three is not selling for no blue collar worker. Single mother of two is not dating NBA players. Single mother of three uh, doesn't believe in Buddha. I feel like men, we are not as strong as we used to be. I feel like men, we are not standing in the gap like we supposed to. Single mother expects other men to raise her children. If you dating that woman and you plan on marrying her or if y'all do get married and then to a degree you're responsible for that family that you inherit, I guess. Now, it, to each his own, it's still up to you whether or not you want to accept that for your life pattern or how you want to live your life or how you want to be in your relationship with that woman. But a, a, a real man, I ain't going to even say a real man, but a man who has standards and has some masculinity about himself, he don't care about how many kids the woman got, if that's the woman that he wants to be with. Um, yeah, some women do still want to be with their baby daddy and it ain't work out, so that's kind of who they heart is for and all that stuff like that. But I still believe in biology. And so what does that mean for me? For me, biology means that you are a man, she is a woman. So according to my biology and how I break it down, a woman is still going to follow the lead of the man. That's instilled in her natural makeup, regardless of what kind of job she has, how much money she has, uh, what's her status you know, in society. A woman is still going to follow a man. But I feel like in order for that to happen, you have to be the right man. You have to be the right man to unlock that submissive side of a woman to make her not want to um, to make her want to be submissive. I don't think it's impossible. I think it's possible. Um, I still think I, I just believe in the natural law. I'm a man. You're a woman hear me roar. I move, you move. I go up, you go up. I go down, you go down. That's my thing. So it, it just kind of discouraging to see so many men attack women <sighs> almost at every turn. So I, I feel like that's kind of unnecessary. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I was raised by a single mother. My dad left my mom at a, maybe I was like 12 years old. And so from 12 years on up, my mother raised me by herself. Uh, you know, my granddad was around and stuff like that. So I'm going to always have a different level of respect for a single mother, regardless of her, um, how she treat me. Now, has it been some women in the past that, you know, tried to um, not be the best woman they could be for me? Yeah, of course. But that's anybody, though. So I don't understand why y'all attacking women so much. So I feel like y'all need to kind of chill that out for real, for real. I feel like as many as it is with, with the women, you know, raising their kids by themselves and, and not having that much help and just the way the world is, though, I just feel like we're attacking women too much and we shouldn't be doing that as males. I feel like our men, we should be stronger. Um, we shouldn't be getting caught up on how women, women are dictating what's going on out here in society because they're really not. You're still an individual. 
you still do what you got to do for your family and however you want to do it. And so that's just my position on that.